In the world of motorsport, where power and performance reign supreme, Toyota is breaking new ground with its hydrogen-powered engines. With the hydrogen-fueled GR Yaris and the Corolla Sport Hydrogen, Toyota is redefining what is possible in the world of racing and beyond. This captivating technology not only offers enhanced performance and reduced emissions, but also presents a thrilling and sustainable future for motorsport enthusiasts. Join me as we delve deeper into Toyota's hydrogen engine, exploring its application, success stories, and remarkable experiences of those who have driven these cutting-edge vehicles. So let's start by talking about the engines. Now, while many motorsport enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the rise of electric and synthetic fuels, Toyota is pioneering the use of hydrogen fuel for piston engines. And their hydrogen-fueled Yaris Rally Car and Corolla Sport Hydrogen have caught the attention of racing enthusiasts worldwide. These vehicles feature advanced drivetrains. The motor itself is a little 1.6-liter three-cylinder turbo engine. And here is the impressive part. You see, one of the downsides of hydrogen is that most internal combustion engine-powered cars will lose power when you run them on hydrogen. But this specific 1.6-liter three-cylinder turbo produces 257 horsepower, which is the exact same amount as the normal gasoline-fed GR 1.6-liter engine. This means that you don't lose any of the thrill of driving. The car still sounds awesome. You have turbo noises. It pulls just as hard, has the same characteristics as a normal internal combustion engine powered car, but you have no CO2 emissions. And I think by embracing hydrogen as a fuel source, Toyota is on the cusp of transforming the future of motorsports. So let's talk success stories of Toyota's hydrogen development. Is this one of those promise the world and give you nothing situations? Or have they really managed to build these cars in a reliable way? Well, Toyota's hydrogen engine technology has already made waves in the racing world. The Corolla Sport Hydrogen, a competitor in the Super Taiku series in Japan, has achieved remarkable gains in engine power and torque. Through extensive testing and development, Toyota has seen 24% increase in power and 33% increase in torque, bringing the performance of the hydrogen-powered engine on par with its petrol counterparts. Additionally, the refueling process has been streamlined, reducing the time required from 5 minutes down to a mere 90 seconds. So it makes the same power and refueling is a million times faster than having to charge a car. But enough about specs. Let's hear what people who have actually driven the car have to say. So at the Festival of Speed, Rowan Atkinson had a chance to experience the car, and this is what he had to say. Rowan Atkinson, fantastic to see you up here in the top paddock. The, the massive H on the side of this car is a bit of a giveaway as to what it is. Yeah, it stands for hydrogen, because this is a hydrogen-powered uh, GI Yaris, and, and, and it's tremendous fun. So this is, yeah, rather bizarrely, it's a standard engine. It's a three-cylinder, 1.6-litre, turbocharged engine with obviously a more a changed engine management system but the fuel is just hydrogen so it's directly injected hydrogen this isn't a fuel cell you know this is a directly injected sort of normal internal combustion engine uh, and it's sort of it's sort of the direction that Toyota feel that motorsport can go you know one of them one of the many ways in order to retain well, in order to retain the internal uh, combustion engine, which is what Formula One is trying to do from 2026. It's going to be a hybrid, you know, internal combustion engine using synthetic fuel. So this is another way of going uh, with using hydrogen as a fuel, but in an internal combustion engine. So you've still got the emotion, you know, that's what they want from, from motorsport. Anyways, so what are the benefits and challenges when working with these fuels? Well, while hydrogen fuel presents numerous advantages, including clean combustion and reduced emissions, there are challenges that the Yota and the industry face. Efficient hydrogen production and storage methods, along with the development of a robust infrastructure, are crucial for widespread adoption of hydrogen engines. Now, in Japan, hydrogen adoption is a big focus. They are building numerous refueling stations. The government have Toyota hydrogen-powered buses, and they have massive green hydrogen production plants. Whilst they are working on many other possible ways of producing hydrogen in the most efficient way possible. Outside of Japan, there is also a few companies seriously looking into the technology, but it is easier when the country and government is helping. In other words, the rest of the world needs to wake up. Looking ahead, Toyota's commitment to research and development underscores its determination to improve and refine hydrogen engine technology, 
although there is still progress to be made before hydrogen engines can compete at endurance races like the 24 Hours of Le Mans, Toyota has an ambitious goal to develop a prototype hydrogen car that can rival existing hypercars by 2026, and they want to compete with the GRH2 Le Mans car that year. Now I made a complete video on this specific car, so if that's something you would like to see, know more about the specs of the car and so forth, I'll leave a pop-up, but yeah, it's a pretty cool car. Anyways, Hydrogen makes tons of sense in endurance racing. That's why they're developing it, where refueling times need to be quick. Now, Toyota is leading the way towards a future where hydrogen-powered vehicles dominate the racetracks and revolutionize the automotive industry. Now, they aren't alone, though. Mazda, Hyundai, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki, AVL engines, Cummins, Mercedes, and BMW are all also busy exploring these technologies. And I'm personally super excited to see where it goes. To end it off, Toyota's hydrogen engine represents a remarkable fusion of power, performance, and sustainability. Through successful deployments in racing series and the endorsement of experienced drivers, the potential of hydrogen as a viable alternative to traditional combustion engines become evident. As Toyota continues to refine and enhance its hydrogen engine technology, we eagerly anticipate the exhilarating possibilities that lie ahead on the racetracks of tomorrow. Get ready to witness a new era of high-performance, eco-conscious racing, fueled by hydrogen. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of the car, the engine, and how it sounds. I personally think it sounds really good. I especially like the turbo blow of noises. And if I didn't put a clip of that in, I'll put it in now. As you see there, engine sound. You see. We have exactly the same as the engine horsepower as the normal the fuel GRE is. Uh, when you put full power, we have plenty of good engine horsepower, which is if we can enjoy it lot. And obviously, I think uh, I feel this is really good future myself and for everyone. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.